How are you guys doing today? Welcome to Cryptopedia. We're going to be doing a video on soldier nodes and uh, there's people who have a bunch of issues and they're going crazy on the Discord channel. Mm -hmm. Let me take a little look. Actually, no, I can't do it from here, but we'll, we'll go back to it. They're going nuts and I want to help you guys have a little, uh, you know, comp transaction here. Um, give you a couple of updates. First of all, they cut the reward. The reward is now... Uh, for one army, it's ha if you're going to get half a SLD. Uh, if you guys don't know anything about this project, I have a video about Soldier Nodes. Look in the description. There'll be a link over there. And like and subscribe, guys. It helps me grow my channel. Uh, it helps me keep motivated to give you great content. And at the same time, you're going to learn a lot of good information. And non-biased information either. But do your own due diligence. Anyways, so they cut the reward. You get now half... Uh, Half of the half of the SLD for an army. An army con is constituted by having ten uh, soldiers, and there was also an airdrop that was established yesterday for anybody who was holding ten armies or more. Unfortunately, I was holding only nine armies, and I bought in more. Thought I would get it, but they took a snapshot before I was able to do that, and that didn't work out. But uh, I just want to show you that everything does work. You have to connect in case you're having issues migrating. This is where the issue is for most of you. Um, what you have to do is uh, you want to go into your army. And you're going to have a scroll here. I don't have it. I've already migrated. I should have done a video, guys. But you're going to have a scroll here. If you don't have it, what you want to do is you want to close the brow You want to close this browser. If you're doing it through your phone and the MetaMask wallet, you want to go to settings you want to go security and privacy you want to clear privacy data you want to clear your browser history you want to clear your uh, browser cookies once you've done that you should close the app close all your browser stuff and then make sure all this is back open type in the text reconnect refresh and uh after you refresh, I'm sorry, you would be reconnected and you would be able to to see exactly where the scroll is and you're going to have to scroll and you're going to have to approve. Now, once you approve it and you're going to have a transaction approved uh, sign on here, the green logo that comes up, it doesn't necessarily mean it worked yet. I had to do it three times to make it happen. The transaction fee might be high because of AVAX going AWOL right now. This has nothing to do with soldier nodes. Um, I was able to do two transactions for like 15 cents a transaction and the third transaction cost me about $10. So it's, uh, it's relatively high for AVAX, but compared to staking with anything else, it's very low. You guys should not be complaining. Uh, once you've migrated, you're going to be able to claim. You can claim now anytime. Um, you can claim, let's see if you can claim more than 24 hours ago. I claimed, as you guys can see. I claimed this where it says eight hours. I claimed this already about less than 24 hours ago. So I'm going to see if I can reclaim it. People claim that you can't do it. But uh, I'm going to claim these tokens now. And uh, you can claim it and you'll see. I'll be able to claim it again afterwards. I'm not going to do it, but I'll show it to you. So let's claim 14 armies. Let's see the transaction fee, $1.72. Wow, that is high. Um, I guess for the sake of the video, let me just cancel this and hopefully it gets less. Okay, it's not going to get any less. Okay, I confirm. And let's see. In our wallet, we have already 2 SLD, 2.17 we had. And let's see what we're going to be able to get. Don't keep spamming it. If you keep pressing claim, the thing will keep coming up and it doesn't mean... You're going to get anything. So just don't keep doing it. It says transaction is completed. As you see, my balance went up. You can refresh. See the balances? Reload. And voila. You see, there's a, I can claim even more now. And mm -hmm. just to show you, I can't claim, but I do not want to pay the fee. So I'm not going to. Great, now it's 85 cents. Um... But you can keep claiming anytime you want, which is really unique and really new. It wasn't like that. It was 24 hours. You can only claim. I think the timer is going to go away soon. And uh, it keeps accumulating. I also want to share with you my strategy on um, 
exactly how I'm accumulating more of this, uh, you know, ma making a profit on this. I've made a huge profit on this because every day when I claim it, what I do is I go back to, see, I have five SLD now. I had two, now I, had, I made three. Great. It was in one less than a day. Settings, no, browser. As soon as I buy it, I mean, as soon as I was able to unstake, unstake some SLD or receive my reward or whatever they want to call it, I go in here, I press SLD, and I sell it for spell token immediately. Um, <clears throat> let me just check the price of spell. And the price of this token sold you know, is 542. Um, spell. Okay, price is going down. I'm pretty interested in still buying it at this low price. Let's look at the volume. And here's actually what I use to actually edit the trading view. I put my indicator, I put MA cross, I just type in cross. Come out easier this way, and uh, then I program the settings. What I use is eight twenty. Okay, this is a quick overview. Seems like spell is still a good is in a good position here. Let's look at a thirty minute chart, one minute chart. Okay, it looks like it's correct. It's going to cross again on a thirty minute. There's no buy signal yet, which is uh, not 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 great. But uh, let me add another indicator just to double check. MACD. If you guys gonna want more info how to actually read this and understand this, yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pick it up here. I don't think it's gonna go much lower. Maybe a little bit, but. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take it now. Let's see. Let's see the value in the exchange. Once I hold this, I know spell is a good token, you know. Um SLD is something new. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm skeptical, but uh I don't have I rather hold something I trust and I trust spell. Except confirm. As you can see. This is what I do every single day. Every day I acquire more spell. And uh, yesterday at the top of spell's price, I sold $300 worth and bought more SLD. And I put build up uh, more armies. And uh, yeah, now I get to keep doing the cycle again. I use the profits from spell to buy more SLD versus just holding SLD and trading it back and forward. I know spell is going to go up. I actually have... This is my own, this is not financial advice, but I really believe that this token will hit 40 cents at the very minimum. And um, yeah, so I, I rather keep stuff here. And then when I make enough profit, I can sell some of the chunk and get something else. Just like SLD has been doing very well. So I don't see any reason to go into anything else until it you know does something retarded or something great. Either way, I'm not going to change it up. Like this has really been my strategy for past this this whole past week. And it has paid off a lot. Um, I spent three hundred dollars initially on uh, SLD, and I was able to make uh, nine soldier, nine armies, and I was able to acquire twenty three thousand. I'm sorry, twenty seven thousand spell tokens with it. I sold ten thousand spell tokens. Oh, and by the way, here's also once I have spell, I have videos on this how to use it. But once you have spell token, I don't end it there. I take stake spell. And I, and I buy stake spell with it. So that's accumu accumulating 28% also. Every, you know, 28% APR. And uh, that's another way I'm just keep generating income. And it's it's great. If you see, by the way, sometimes they won't let me approve the transaction. And what I do is I view the price and I go back to it. And I'm able to approve the transaction. My slippage, by the way, is set up to 0 0.05. I know people do much more. I got to tell you, 0 0.05 still works, and it's much cheaper. 
Um, and yeah, this is a uh, this has been a great update for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I sh I shared the technical issues of what you might might have to do. You have to do a transaction three times to migrate. Remember, you need to refresh. You need to delete all the cookies. Del you know, delete all this all the stuff you have I might be backed up and ba backing up the cookies or anything, preloading the website, and then you'll have the new menu. Uh, if your token is not showing, just close everything off. If it really isn't working, try logging in from a different dev device that you haven't logged into, and it will work out. See, by the way, I was able to now now I have more staked spell, and here's what happens. See, my spell token, you know, your SS spell isn't going to grow in value because of staked. What happens is when you actually sell it, you're going to get more staked spell. Uh, I mean, you're going to get more spell. Every day I get, it's a different amount and I'll get more. If you guys log in through my videos, you will see I'll have it updated. As I'll do the next buy for it, I'll show you guys. Okay, good luck. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video.